And my daughter does help contribute to my headache. For fact, I forgot what I was going to say. Any participating Taco Bell restaurant or send a postcard to the show only on YouTube. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm sorry for the space heater. It is a very cold one out here in the garage today. We've got a temperature of 55 right now. It was uh, 50 earlier today, which doesn't seem very cold, but when there's like no air movement or anything, it's a little cold. I know you like Northeastern guys, Midwestern guys. I'm sure you deal with this a lot more than we do here in Texas. I am originally from Illinois, so I'm familiar with the cold, but it's a, it's a chilly one. We're supposed to get some snow on Monday, um, Sunday night, but this video today is about the GTI, so I'm sorry there was no Miata video on Saturday. I have been taking a break for a week, and there also wasn't a GTI video last Wednesday. I have been taking a little bit of a break, and we're doing something today that is going to accompany a mod we've done previously. It is the ECS tuning air duct. If you haven't seen that video, go up into the corner, click it, check it out because we are doing the same thing today with a little bit of a twist and I'm going to do some testing so you guys can like kind of see how it works because I'm running the stock air box with an upgraded uh, turbo inlet pipe, silicone piping, and the k &N filter with the ECS tuning air ducting already. Um, but obviously we're going to add to this. So first things first, Get this box open, show you what's inside. So ECS tuning, they finally released the uh, single sides for the passenger side. So I picked up the passenger side air ducting right here. Comes with the grill, comes with the little ramp, air ramp. I don't know what it's called. I'm calling it the air ramp. And it also comes with the hardware. Everything you need to install, including the template which I didn't get last time so I'm excited to use it this time it should make it easier so excited to have that I also picked up the euro spec uh, block off trim this goes on the back of the passenger sides air ducting and essentially it should allow more air to get into our intake rather than flowing directly into the engine and I wasn't initially sold on this at first but they did sell it like they recommended this with this part so it was like ten dollars extra and i was like all right i'm gonna get it and you know it should be fine so we're also going to be installing this today with the additional screws so i'm going to open the hood show you guys some air testing some really really primitive air testing but it's a good way to show you that the air ducting that i installed works I've already done this like sort of little test before and it, I was actually surprised to see how well it worked. So I'm going to open the hood and we're going to do a little scientific experiment in this week's video. Thanks so much for joining. If you are new to the channel, be sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button and let's get going on this. All right. So for our experiment, you can see I've got some tape laid out here. I fold it over one side so it kind of flips up as you can see and it's on both sides. So the goal of this experiment is to show you guys that blowing air in through the grill on each side that the air does get caught in the little ducting and flows up more. It's crude, but this should get the point across. Obviously it's not perfect real world experiment, but the results that are at least shown here, um, I think they're convincing enough. So I've got my little air pump that blows air and I'm going to set you guys down and we'll just blow it in each side. All right. So first we're going to start on the, uh, stock side, I guess, which has no air ducting. It is just the grill to the grill on the top and then obviously flows in here and out the back. Now, none of this matters in this experiment. This is just to show you that the air does go through the grill and it goes through the ducting. So I'm going to show you this side first and you can kind of see the results for the stock side. So pretty minimal movement. Obviously air is going to be forced in here when there's larger volumes, like when you're driving, but you'll see once I do this side that there's for sure something happening when you uh, have air flowing through it. So I'm gonna jump over to this side now 
which has the ECS tuning, uh, air ducting, and yeah, you'll, you'll see how it goes here. So, as you could probably tell, more air was being forced up into our intake with the ducting and that is basically the goal of what it's supposed to do to drive more air into the intake. So this side is gonna have the same effect. Let's get the grill off and then we can go ahead and get started installing this. All right, and this right here is the back side of our uh, top ducting portion. So what we're gonna do first is install this piece right here. You gotta take it out, which is pretty easy to do, but all you do is fit it in. On the bottom, we've got to drill two holes. and just drive them in. So this vinyl kind of sucks. Doesn't really want to stick to the plastic. That's cool. I'm just gonna free ball it. Not a big deal. You know, it's whatever. And now we've got matching sides. Really easy to install, uh, especially faster doing the new one rather than the old one. Just because I kind of remembered what to do, but there it is. Pretty easy to do. You can see there's no plastic sitting in the top, so should have clean airflow. And now we just got to reinstall it back in the car. Grill is back in. That looks kind of cool having both there. Looks uh, aggressive when you open the hood, certainly. And our little block off plate is back in right there. So anything coming in should hit the back as far as air goes. And now we've got both up front looking cool behind the grill. So really, really easy to do. And like I said, it's, you know, I didn't get this side absolutely perfect. Like the grill points are a little high, but air should still flow in here just fine. There's like a tiny gap and you know, it's whatever. I, you know, no use crying over spilt milk as they say, I guess, but it's all in. So let's do our little air test again and make sure it worked. So as expected, Everything worked fine and definitely saw a little bit more air getting through. So that's good. Um, it's doing what it's designed to do is draw air in and pull it up into our intake system. Therefore into our turbo. So more air is always good for a turbocharged car. Really any car. You know, that's what they say is more air. Certainly they're making things a little bit more efficient as far as the air intake system goes. So this officially is the most mild you can go as far as an intake system goes without upgrading the air box and everything like that. So, so turbo inlet pipe, silicone hose, stock air box, K and N filter, OEM air ducting with the Euro block off plate and both ECS tuning 
air intake duct. So with that, we can uh, finish this up, close the hood, and there it is. We are all done with this modification. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. I know this is like kind of a double video install thing, but I wanted to include the testing so you guys could see if it actually worked, and I th would say is that it does. I, th I think it does work. The air from our little air mattress inflator was shooting up through. You could see with the tape, it was causing more turbulence, more airflow into the intake. So if you are new to the channel, be sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, leave your comments below, and I will see you in the next video.